want to know this, Eric, like, because we say what rappers should be doing different, right? I also feel like it's a, mm-hmm. it's a relationship between consumer and producer. So back in mm-hmm. the days, it was like we had these things like Yo MTV Raps. We had um, BT, The Box, go back as far as you want to. But that was the job to bring the dopest music to the forefront so that they kind of did the curation and selection for us, right? Mm-hmm. Now that that's changed, independent music is everywhere. Um, how, what is something that the consumer needs to do different? Because I feel like people are still in that old mindset of, if I don't see you on this platform, I'm not going to pay attention to you. I'm not going to support it publicly. I'll hit you in your inbox and say, I see you working, but I'm not going to post you until I see you on the breakfast club. Mm -hmm. So what's something that the consumer can do different to help the dope independent underground artists like thrive and make a living from their music? Never rely on the fans. Never rely on them. Collectively, they're never going to do anything. I think it's up to the artists. If you're an artist, basically you're saying for the artist that's not going to probably get on Breakfast Club, right? Yeah. Or some, How do they do? They like, got to build, like build community. So it goes back to that niche thing I'm talking about again, right? When you bring that niche, you build community. Let's be real. Most likely, you're never going to touch the world. Like, you're not Michael Jackson. You're not fucking Michael Jackson. And even some people are like Michael Jackson. You're not fucking Michael Jackson. You're not. So it's go back to building that community. Once again, if you talk about slide on niggas, but you know that you speak a certain uh, motivational speech that relates to the hood, then you need to build that hood community. Collaborate with other artists in that community, similar underground artists that have a similar message to you. Uh, Go to conventions around, uh, go to like street convention shows uh, on the internet. Do podcasts that speaks for that. And then you can build that community and at least your community can rock with you. I preferably think, I predict in a few more years, you're not going to get many pop stars. I think the reason why we had pop stars back then, because if you think about it, you had, the only way you could consume music was radio, maybe a video game, TV, social media was rocky. So it was a very small window. So we only had a very small select of artists. And out of that very small select of artists, one can make up one or two or three of them could be a pop star. Today it's spreading. I got millions of playlists, millions of podcasts. Millions of niches, millions of this. Our attention is spreading. I think it's going to be very hard to even get a traditional pop star anyway. So I think you're better off creating that community. And if you meant to be a pop star later, then build from there. But I think start with community. Never trust the consumer. The consumer is only as smart as the outlet they have. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if, if if this plays song and it's the only thing they play songs, then the consumer is going to come here. You don't want to make the consumer go outside of their natural habitat, their natural tendency. So like prime example, a lot of reasons why under, uh, a lot of um, underground artists fail at, they'll try to make a club banger, right? If you have no connection, just think of this, just think of this, right? Just think of this. I'm not even that big. I'm yeah. making money. I'm, did a video on I'm this. not a pop artist. If I make a club banger, who the fuck go hear it in what club? I don't have, a, I don't know anyone to get in the club. Why am making a club banger? Who the fuck gonna hear it? I, don't, I, I got no connection with no clubs. You know what I mean? And ain't nobody gonna go out there. Wait, if I'm making a club banger and my club banger don't get played in clubs, why would I expect someone to come from somewhere else to come to a club banger song that's not in the club? Fresh off of work. Yeah, you want to put your music where your fans are going to be. That's why I said to go back to that niche or that comic book. If you know you talk about or the, the street rapper, the sliding rapper, if you talk about motivation in your music for the streets. And it's a podcast where people that may not follow that podcast for music, but maybe the host, he talk about motivation for the streets. You get your music placed in there. It's with somewhere they're going to be already. And it's something they most likely like. No, Eric, but that's too much work, bro. Cause I, cause I gotta, I gotta find the podcast that, that listen, that does motivational <laughs> speaking for me to send my music to him. That's too much work, bro. I'm going to make this club banger because that's what I want to do. Me, me trying to figure out DJs to, to send this song to, it's too much work, bro. I don't know. No DJ. I, I do this for the art. People go, it, it, It's going to get the plays uh, because people like it. If you think that, then you, maybe you don't care about money at all. And if you ain't, ain't willing to do it, take it out the game. Do me a favor. Get out the game. Easy for me. So No, bro. <laughs> Less competition. No. This shit ain't hard, bro. This shit is not hard. This shit is not hard, bro. Bro, me and you literally spoke from the inbox. No magical 
airy fairy mystical it's not hard niggas is just lazy bro <laughs> get out. if you are an independent artist and you want to make six figures a year with your music career independently watch this short clip and i'll show you how now for those who don't know me i go by the name of eric stacks for my rap mentor i specialize in teaching rappers how to rap build fans and make money. Now, the reason why I'm dropping this video is I have a program that's called From Doubt to Clout. In this program, I'm gonna be showing you the strategies that I use to take my rap career from zero to six figures a year and the strategies that I taught thousands and thousands of artists how to quit their day jobs. Teaching you techniques on how to build fans, how to make money, how to get your streams up, get a manager, book shows, and a whole list of ish that's way too long to put in this video. So if this is something that you're interested in and you're tired of going through your rap career and not knowing what to do, year after year after year in the same place, not making no money, not gaining no fans, not getting no streams. I mean, cause at the end of the day, what's the point of having a music career if you're just gonna do the same thing over and over and over, not getting no results, still stuck in the same place? I mean, come on, it'll be quite insane if you're thinking, if I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over, that's not getting me no results, I'm gonna magically blow out of nowhere. Stop procrastinating, click the link, Sign up, check it out, and let me take your rap career from doubt to clout. Peace. My teacher told me I'm gonna be a damn loser. Then I stopped going to school, started making moolahs. Hey, pray for my women and my damn juniors. See, every day I wake up great screaming hallelujah. And now we in the building screaming hallelujah.